Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach and I'm on my way to one of my weirdest business errands. <laughs> I have to go sign out uh, some packages that I actually received last week. So uh, we got the uh, the cloth mask, the devil dog cloth mask and devil dog dog tags, which you can get separately as add-ons or together as a perk called Merc Merch. Um, and so I got the, uh, what do you call them, the prototypes. Uh, the dog tags were perfect. Um, the mask needs a little work. So uh, in true um, do everything at the last minute fashion, I showed up at the postal place and like one minute before they left, banging on the door because they closed three minutes early. Uh, the guy ended up opening it up eventually, but he's like, we already shut down our computer, so can I just give it to you and you'll sign for it on Tuesday? Because uh, uh, it's a long weekend. So I'm going back to sign for something that I already opened and inspected and, and already got the feedback back to the, uh, what do you call them, the wholesalers. Um, but uh, anyway, um, so uh, Dan Shaheen, who is a name I, I, I always spell it. You ever have someone you're like, oh, it's spelled this way. You spell it, that's wrong. And the next time you go, no, last time I got it wrong. So I'm going to spell it the other way. But then you forgot the other way. So you just keep, I, I don't, Dan Shaheen, type it both ways that it's pronounced and you'll find it. I think it's called Comic Book News with Dan Shaheen. And he's uh, he's really building this channel. It's it's becoming very interesting. It's kind of reminding me of uh, these uh, zines that I used to, uh, I talked about from the 80s and 90s, like Amazing Heroes. It's probably the closest, it's, it's not very analogous, but it's the closest thing to it. Um, and he's getting some really good guests. Some people are like, how does he keep getting good guests? It's like, probably asks I don't know <laughs> you would be amazed at all the things that can happen in life if you, you just ask you know people are just like oh nobody asked oh yeah sure why not um, uh, I, he also used to be a retailer so I'm guessing he has some connections from back in his uh, retailer days so he had uh, Jim Rugg uh, from uh, cartoonist kayfabe on uh, and then a good you know nice uh, interview um, and one thing was kind of bothering me. Um, not in a big deal, but a big enough deal to do a video about it. <laughs> in that, uh, Jim Rugg was having fantastic success with uh, crowdfunding. He's doing a Kickstarter for, I believe it's called Octobriana 1976. And it's doing fantastic. I think it's been up for two weeks. He's close to 60,000. This is a huge, massive success. Um, it's a 24 page uh, day glow, or is it day glow? Night glow? Black light? Black light. Black light and day glow are two different things, right? I feel like they'd be cousins. Like they'd, they'd meet at the barbecue a lot. What's up, day glow? How you doing? You know, all right. Same. Uh, <laughs> that would be weird if they were the exact same thing. I think they're slightly different. Um, and so it's an interesting, fun project. Uh, I backed it actually during, I was on the fence, um, because it's not my, you know, typical cup of tea, um, and I usually don't get very good views when I review indie books, and this is like super indie, um, uh, but, uh, he said, you know, there, Octobriana has this interesting history where it was actually like a fake out, <laughs> it was this guy from like Czechoslovakia who like hired some people and then just like didn't pay him and and he freaking he pulled a, a Spongebob I, I'm gonna head out went to London and they made up this whole fake story that it was like Russian dissidents when it was just two other checks he ripped off um, uh, I guess you could say he wrote a bad check yeah, I just did the Dr. Evil thing with the pinky to the corner of my mouth um, uh, but uh, anyway, so uh, he was talking about th that um, he was doing like a Freedom of Information Act to like, because I guess the FBI had like files about this related to Russian dissidents, but it was fake. So he's, he's like, that's going to be one of the extras. I might be misstating that, but I just heard that. I was like, that's interesting. Um, uh, so I was like, okay, backed it. Uh, but then um, the host kept coming back to, to something that I thought. I feel is a conceit. Uh, the idea is Jim is having incredible success in crowdfunding. He's had what I would call extremely moderate success in the direct market. 
He's had a couple of image mini mini series that did, eh. and people remind him like, eh. I, uh, uh, mm, okay. And if you if you ever read uh, blogs by, oh, I'm forgetting, it wasn't Rat Queens, Dungeon Kickers, <laughs> something like that. Um, it was it was kind of in that like Dungeons and Dragons kind of funny. Uh, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, that guy who I believe is Jim Zub. I feel like Jim Zub and Jim Rugg should also be cousins, just like Dayglo and and Blacklight should they should all be cousins of each other. Um, but he's done the math on what a successful image series does. And seriously, just deliver pizzas. Like, unless it's The Walking Dead, it is nothing that would impress anyone that isn't homeless. Um, I don't even think it would impress a homeless person. They're like, man, I used to be on Wall Street. You ain't fit to shine my shoes, your image comic man. Get the hell out of my face. Um, uh, but uh, cocaine is a hell of a drug. Uh, but uh, so Dan kept coming back to this thing. He's like, well, what about the comic book stores? You're going to cut them in, right? You're not going to cut them out. What are you doing for the comic book stores? And Jim was just basically very honest. He's like, I gave some queries to comic book stores and it was not impressive. You know, it, it's very niche. It's a very niche thing. He's he's known mainly for cartoonist kayfabe. Uh, his previous stuff did okay-ish, sort of, like 10, 15 years ago. And this is like, it, it's literally a comic book industry footnote done in stunt inks. So I understand why the average comic book sh shop owner is like, I don't, what? Uh, my, yeah, not really that interesting. But the thing is that like Dan kept hammering it and I was getting bothered because I was like, why? Because th that will never be asked in the opposite direction. Uh, you know, when something goes to comic book stores, nobody will ever say to the comic book stores, are you going to limit your orders to help out crowdfunding? Because this guy could do a lot better crowdfunding this. So maybe you just do half the orders you want to have, and then there will be demand for him to do a comic book crowdfunder later. Um, uh, and... Uh, he just kept on doing this and then Jim just kept repeating the same thing. He's like, I've talked to the stores. They're barely interested in, and I'm, you know, he didn't, you know, brag. He didn't say, and I'm doing amazing with crowdfunding. And I just feel like they are two completely separate things. Um, as much as, uh, you know, um, you know, people like to ballyhoo about online drama, most people, I remember a couple of years ago, one of the usual suspects was like, a couple of them were at a convention and they're like, nobody here has even heard of CG. You guys are irrelevant. And I'm like, your whole life revolves around CG. <laughs> like, that's all you ever talk about. I've barely talked about it since like 2018, but it's these people's, it's their entire life is talking about it. So I was like, do you really want to say that the thing that base your entire life off is irrelevant? Does that really make uh, a lot of sense? But yeah, the average person at the comic book store doesn't really know about YouTube, YouTube drama, Twitter, or Twitter drama. They, they see it, it's cool, they pick it up, it's it's either cool, they buy it, they don't, whatever. That's why I was, um, I'm still, you know, in a lawsuit for various reasons, because I was like, job records would have sold good. That Ethan Van Skyver cover... And you got John Malin and Brett Smith. I mean, the art alone would have sold it. Kelsey Shannon on backups. It, it would have done good. And that was cut off because some you-know-who decided he was the sheriff of comics. And nobody is the sheriff of comics. Um, uh, but um, I don't like this idea of that crowdfunding always has to, like, wait after comic book stores or consider them really at all. These are completely different markets, different, they're just different things. You know what I mean? It's like nobody ever says, you know, like, hey, if Bad Boys 3 is doing good in the theaters, let's put it in less theaters so, you know, we sell more DVD sales. No, you max out 
theaters, then you max out DVD, then you max out whatever you can get from you know uh, streaming uh, fees, you max out how much whatever USA TNT wants to pay you for it. Every single part, you max it the hell out. And some, if someone's a super fan, they're gonna buy it in multiple different ways. Jeez, I have bought the original Team 7 miniseries. I have bought it in ash can, trade paperback, and I am not kidding. I have bought the entire miniseries at least three times during my life. Because, you know, I'll be, I'll be stationed, oh, jeez, I'm in freaking, I'm in California, my comics are in storage in Texas, but I'm, you know, at the, where was I? Salvation, Salvation Army, they had the whole miniseries. I bought them all. Uh, and then, you know, storage again, now I'm in New York. Oh, they're up, up. buy it again, you know. Um, and uh, I, I don't, I don't want comic books to be this, you know, this, you know, uh, uh, second, this downstream that, you know, comic books is not downstream. Your com crowdfunding is not downstream from comic books. We don't get, you know, whatever, you know, you know, they don't want, or, you know, you know, geez. I remember in Afghanistan, they had these things called Karezes. Karezes was like an underground aqueduct, sort of, kind of, kind of natural, but also kind of dug to me. And the water there was anything from pure, uh, <laughs> from pure mountain rainwater to straight up sewage. And guess what? We had to go search those Karezes, no matter what kind of quality of water they had. Um, but uh, the thing is, you never, you always want to know, what is this downstream from? Is it downstream from the mountains, where it's just going to be rainwater? Is it downstream from, you know, Maywand, where it's going to be all the feces from Maywand? <laughs> um, uh, uh, I remember one time I had my little, uh, what were the cookies I had at the chow hall? They had come in this little bag, and for some stupid reason I put it in my cargo pocket on my leg. And then, like, we had to go into a Carez and that, and just like those poor, poor cookies. They didn't know what kind of future they had in store for them. Um, but yeah, uh, crowdfunding is not downstream from comic book stores. Crowdfunding should not always have to factor in comic book stores, uh, unless they're you know getting that part of the cut. Uh, but even then, you get a larger cut from crowdfunding. So, as far as I can, I am considered. You max out the comic book store market, you max out the crowdfunding market, you max out the digital market. If you decide to go into digital, you max out selling stuff to people personally in uh, conventions, you max out selling stuff on Amazon, you max out however you can sell it, you max it out. And you don't, you, you don't put little, you know, ankle weights when you're running a freaking, you know, decathlon. Um, uh, you just, you know, as, as you know, use your full advantage in every single because comic book stores are not going to cut themselves themselves to help out crowdfunding so why should it be uh vice versa so anyway um thanks for watching subscribe make sure you're still subscribed <laughs> hit the bell for notifications thanks to everyone giving to the gofundme the patreon and the indiegogo your uh funding original content and an original lawsuit links are in the description and i will have more new and old comic book reviews up uh, as well as comic book industry analysis up all this week. Thanks. Bye.